Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here. I've been getting some frequently asked questions on my other bloodstain guides, specifically people getting stuck in certain points and sure of where to go or what to do next. This video is meant as a quick guide to show you the sequence of events in the game and the general order of things. It's not meant to be a 100% walkthrough. Exploration is a huge aspect of Egovania games and I don't want to ruin that aspect for anyone. I just want to help nudge you in the right direction through the game's more cryptic moments. That said, if you are looking for a full map guide, you can find that link to the end of this video. Without further ado, here's how you get through the game. Starting off, work your way through the Galleon Minerva and take down Vapar. Next, make your way through the castle entrance towards the east. Once in the Garden of Silence, go north and then back west to the upper level of the castle entrance. You'll find Zangetsu here waiting for a fight. After defeating Zangetsu, head to the Jian Kecht Cathedral and you'll come across Craftwork. Defeating this boss will net you the Craftwork Manipulative Shard, allowing you to lift heavy objects. Head back to the Garden of Silence and find the Coachman. Lift the big object blocking the chariot, drop it off the edge, then sit on the back of the chariot to be taken to the eastern part of the garden. Once you find the Tower of Twin Dragons, make your way up the stage and find the entrance to the Lever Ex Machina. Once here, you'll need to find and defeat Andrealphus to receive the Double Jump Skill Shard. Head back to the Tower of Twin Dragons and continue until you find the boss, Valak. After killing the boss, head down to the bottom of the arena and find a chest that contains Silver Bromide. Take this to Dominique back at the church. She'll take your photograph and you'll receive the key item called Identification. Take this Identification back to OD in the Lever X Machina. Head back to the Garden of Silence and find the Bridge of Evil entrance. You'll be able to get past the gate now that you have your pass plate. Fight your way through the train and take down the Glutton Train boss with Zangetsu. Next, kill the boss in the Underground Sorcery Lab to receive the Reflect Ray Shard. Take this ability to the Dion Kecht Cathedral and explore some more. You'll find your way to the upper sections of the Cathedral and eventually come across Bloodless. Kill her to receive the Bloodsteel Shard. Head back to the castle entrance and find the big fountain of blood. Use the bloodsteel ability to drain it and reveal the entrance to the forbidden underground waterway. Explore this area until you find the Decima enemies. They look like jellyfish and can be found a few rooms away from the warp room down here. Farm this enemy until it drops the aqua stream shard. This shard allows you to swim underwater. Swim through the cavern until you find the entrance to the hidden desert. Find and fight Albert. After defeating him, take the elevator down one floor to receive the Deep Sinker skill shard. This allows you to walk underwater as well as open chests and use abilities while submerged. Warp back to the Forbidden Underground Cavern and explore the sea floor until you find the entrance to the Secret Sorcery Lab. You'll fight your doppelganger here and make your way to the Inferno Cave. Fight the boss of the Inferno Cave and you'll receive the Invert skill shard. With the Invert ability, head back to the Tower of Twin Dragons. Now that the elevator is active, you can take it to the bottom level, then walk out towards the boss arena. Once you get into the boss arena, use your invert skill to fall to the top of the tower. You'll see a chest underneath some spikes. This is the Aegis Plate, which is this game's version of the Spike Breaker armor. This will protect you from all environmental hazards, including spikes. Take this new armor to the castle entrance and use the invert skill. Equip the Aegis Plate to protect yourself from the spikes, and then use the Craftwork Shard to move the Iron Maidens along the rails. This area leads to the Oriental Sorcery Lab. The boss of this area is Zangetsu again. Fight and defeat him and he will relinquish his sword to you. Head back to the Lever Ex Machina and navigate through using the Reflect Ray ability until you come across the Abyssal Guardian boss. Defeat this boss to gain access to the Hall of Termination. In here you'll find Jeebel, but don't kill him. Instead, equip the Zangetsuto and attack the moon when it glows red. This will reveal Gremory. After Gremory runs away, head to the Garden of Silence and find the bridge with the red moon. Attack it again with the Zangetsuto to reveal a warp to the Den of Behemoths. Navigate this area and fight Veilfar. After defeating Veilfar, find your way to the Ice Tomb. If you have books checked out of the library, you'll need to defeat OD. If you return all the books, you can skip him. After defeating OD, keep progressing through the Ice Tomb and you'll fight Gremory. Equip the Zangetsuto to make the fight easier. Defeating Gremory will grant you the Dimension Shift Skill Shard. Using the Dimension Shift can get you past the Ice Wall further on in the tomb so you can reach the game's final two bosses. Navigate the rest of the cave until you encounter Dominique, then defeat her and you'll get transported to the Demon Realm and fight the game's final boss, Bale. And there you have it. That is Bloodstained Ritual of the Night in a few minutes. Of course, this is not a 100% walkthrough. This is just meant to show you the major story beats of the game and where to go whenever you're stuck. If you are looking for a completed map, you can check out the guide that should be popping up on your screen now. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more Bloodstained guides, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you like this content a whole lot, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below. Alright guys, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.